Welcome to VCC Connection. My name is Ray, and I really am glad you're with me today. It's almost Christmas, and are you getting a little excited about those presents under the tree? Well, at least your kids are getting excited about it, or your grandkids are getting excited about it. And of course, at Christmas, we always remember that Jesus is God's gift to us. The gift of life, the gift that sets us free from sin and death. And today I'd like to speak about, well not speak, just mention, four more gifts that come with Jesus when he comes. And the first one is peace. Now you remember in Isaiah 9, his title is Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. But in John 14, Jesus is speaking to his disciples after the uh, Last Supper, and he says to them, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. He is giving himself to them. He is giving the peace that is him, that resides in him, that he carries He's giving it to the disciples. He gives it to us continually, continually. That's the first gift, peace. And the second one I want to mention is hope. And Paul writes about that in Colossians 1. And he says, to them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Jesus is hope. He is our hope. And when he resides in us, then we have hope, just like peace, continually. Hope continually. The third gift is joy. Well, there's a song we've heard. You are my joy, you are my joy, you are my joy. Jesus is our joy. In Psalm 16 verse 11, the psalmist writes, in your presence is fullness of joy. When we stay in the presence of God, in the presence of Jesus, joy surrounds us. It fills us, fills us completely. Not just half full or half empty, depending on how you look at it, but completely, probably to overflowing. We should be sloshing joy because Jesus lives within us, and he is joy. We have joy as a gift in our hearts continually. And the last gift, that's love. That's love. John writes, God is love. And because Jesus is the express radiance of God, then he is love. And he lives in us, then we have love in us. Paul writes in Romans 5.5, 5, Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Love poured out in our hearts poured out, not again a little bit, but fullness to overflowing, love abounding in us and through us. Four gifts, peace, hope, joy, and love. And these must be important gifts, and especially now at Christmas, because look at your Christmas cards. I bet most of them include those words. 
or the carols that we sing. They include those words of peace, hope, joy, and love. And they come from a loving Father. When you receive a gift, you take it, you open it, and you enjoy it. So I encourage you, receive these gifts. It's receiving Jesus. Receive the gifts. Open them up. Acknowledge what they are in you. Appropriate them into your life. And then rest in them. Rest in them. We all have peace, hope, joy, and love in our hearts to fullness, to abundance. We really don't need to go looking for it. We just have to say yes. Yes, you're here, Lord Jesus, and therefore I have hope. You're here, Lord, and I have joy. You're here, and I have and am at peace. And you're here, and love just fills me up to overflowing. Those are truths. And why do we have these gifts? Because God loves you. He loves each of you. He loves you so much, he gave us Jesus. So I encourage you to think about those things this week. Ponder them. And I bless you with these four gifts. And if I'm blessing you, then God is blessing you. So thanks for listening. And Merry Christmas. Sleep.